So Javi Garcia is the man entrusted with the job of turning around Leeds United's season. Is he a good appointment? Well, we're going to use Football Manager to find out. So for the second time today, let's run a simulation. Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel for the second of today's simulations where I'm going to use FM23 to have a look at how the Javi Gracia era at Leeds United may pan out. So if we just load up the game now, you can see that I have used the in-game editor to move Gracia into the Elland Road hot seat where he is predicted to finish 10th in the Premier League in his first season in charge. But if we have a look at Javi Gracia's manager profile now, and we can see he isn't actually a bad coach for the Premier League team. He has 11 in attacking, defending of 15, 12 in mental, 13 in tactical, 12 in technical and 15 in working with youngsters. His mental attributes aren't bad either, 12 in adaptability, 17 in determination, 13 in motivating and 14 in people management and he has good knowledge. 15 in judging player potential, 14 in judging player ability, and 15 in tactical knowledge. He tends to use intense pressing and counter pressing, and tends not to use player marking. He holds a high defensive line and focuses his play down the flanks. He likes to play a fluid counter attack style with a 4-4-2 preferred formation, and he has a resolute personality. Now this guy does have Premier League experience, having managed Watford in the past, but his most recent job was in the Qatari League. So it'll be interesting to see how he does back in the Premier League. Leeds fans, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'll be interested to hear them and what you think of this appointment. But the way we're going to run today's simulation, we're going to holiday forward three years into the future, stopping at the end of each season to see how Gracia and his Leeds United you know, team have performed. But before we go anywhere in this video, I do need you guys to hear a quick word from my channel partners over at Surprise Shirt. If you're looking to expand your football shirt collection, then get yourselves over to surpriseshirts.co.uk. They're a family run business who source their shirts from all corners of the globe. But don't worry, you will never end up with a club rival shirt as they will give you the option to declare any shirts you don't want before you hit the checkout and they never send you a shirt from your country of residence. They do deliver worldwide to 65 countries. So get your surprise shirt today. Head on over to surpriseshirts.co.uk. And I'll tell you what, if you enter the code TRUEMAGOOFM10 at the checkout, you can get yourself a nice 10% discount on me. All the links will be in the description. Back to the video. So the first season of Gracia's tenure is over, but did he manage to get that 10th place finish they were predicted and adhere to the board expectations? Where well, if we head back into FM23, we can see he is still in charge of the club, so he can't have fared too badly in his first season. We'll go and have a look at the Premier League table from last season, and we see that Leeds finished 11th, one place behind where they were predicted, so they're in and around where they're meant to be. They only finished their on goal difference by a single goal behind 10th place Man United. So we'll go and have a look at who Leeds signed ahead of his first season in charge. And it was Borna Sosa coming in from Stuttgart for 5.25 million and Sergio Barreto coming in from Independiente for 2.3 million. It was mainly young players leaving the club on loan in the first season. No major departures there. So we'll go and have a look at how Leeds done in the domestic cups. And they left the Carabao Cup in the second round, losing away to Nottingham Forest 2-1. And they went out of the FA Cup in the third round, losing 2-1 at home to West Ham United. So he hasn't done too well in the cup competitions, but he is in and around expectation in the Premier League. Where are they predicted to finish in the second season? They are predicted to finish 13th in the Premier League in Season 2. So we're going to holiday now to the end of Season 2 and see if he manages to be within them expectations once again. So we'll see you in a year's time. Here we are guys, two years into this simulation. Is Gracia still performing to expectations? Is he still in charge of the club? Well, yes, he is in charge of the club. 
But if we have a look at the Premier League table now from last season, he finished 11th. So he finished two places above where they were expected to finish on 48 points. Again, a solid mid-table finish from Leeds in the Premier League in season two. If we look at transfers, I imagine he was a bit busier ahead of season two. Dragowski coming from Spezia for £750,000. Vlakodimos coming from Benfica for £3.8 million. Could rise to £4.5 million. Reese Nelson coming from Arsenal for £12.75. Marvellous Nakamba on loan from Villa. Ben Godfrey coming from Everton for £1.1 million. Could rise to £2.6 million. Lianco from Southampton coming on loan. And Richard Elise coming on a free from Chelsea. Was there any big departures? Helder Costa left for 2.6 million. Ian Perveda left for 2.4 million. Jamie Shackleton joined Watford for 450 grand. No major first team departures in that second season there. So we look at the domestic cups now. Look at last season and they lost in the second round of the Carabao Cup again. This time at home to Burnley, losing that tie 3-1. They drew Brentford away in the third round of the FA Cup where they won 3-0. They then faced Millwall away in the fourth round which they won 2-0. They went to Southampton away in the fifth round of the FA Cup and Drew that game one all but won it on penalties and then went away to Bolton in the quarter final. They drew two all but Bolton won the penalty shootout knocking out Leeds in the FA Cup quarter final. So a better season there in the FA Cup. Another solid mid-table finish in the Premier League. He's not doing too bad so far is he? Let's go ahead another year and see how he does. So guys there's been a couple of major developments during that third and final season. Javi Gracia has been sacked by Leeds United. He has been replaced by the 48-year-old Portugueseman Petit. And Leeds United have been relegated from the Premier League. They now are a championship side. Probably what led to Gracia's dismissal. He was sacked on the 14th of February 2025. Happy Valentine's Day, Javi. You're sacked. So if we have a look at the Premier League table... From last season, we can see that Leeds finished 18th. They only went down by a single point behind Southampton and Bournemouth, who survived. But nonetheless, relegation from the Premier League has cost Javi Grothia his job in West Yorkshire. We'll have a look at who he signed ahead of that relegation season. Liancho made his move from Southampton permanent for just under £5 million. Muriel from AC Milan joined on a free. Largo from Augsburg, 2.4 million. Basic from Lazio for 2.2 million. Mina from America de Cali come in for 925 grand. Robert Sanchez come in from Brighton for 3.9 million. And Mabeo come in from Liverpool for 135 grand. So a fair few signings there ahead of that relegation season. How did they do in the domestic cups last year? Was it as bad? They played Plymouth in the second round of the Carabao Cup, beat them 3-0, but then went out in the next round, the third round, losing on penalties at home to Manchester United. They beat my beloved Pompey in the third round of the FA Cup at Fratton Park before losing 3-1 again to Manchester United in the fourth round of the FA Cup. So, Gracia has been sacked by Leeds United in season three. His tenure has come to an end. At least he lasted longer than he did at Watford, I suppose. There you go, guys. Javi Gracia sacked after two and a half years in charge at Leeds United. Football manager clearly thinks he's the wrong man for the job. I personally think he's the wrong man for the job. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But that is it for today's simulations. I hope you've enjoyed them both. If you have, then don't forget to drop a big thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little notification bell, and you can now support the channel by heading over to my Buy Me A Coffee profile where you'll see different perks involving my up and coming Let's Play series. And we are back tomorrow with a tactics test, so make sure you check that out. But for now, that is it from me. I'll see you real soon, guys. Take care.